In this video, I will showcase how to model the bolt that goes in the center that will hold the hour, minute, and second hand of the clock. First, what I want to do to make sure the sizing stays the same, I'll go into the front viewport. I'm going to select the clock. And I'm going to go into the edit, the edit sub polygon mode. I'm going to select the back face of the of where the bolt will go. I'm going to go into the left viewport, hit F3. I'm actually going to bring that up a little bit off the back wall of the clock. Next, I'm going to hit F3 again to go back into the shaded edge face mode. Go back into my front viewport. Hit P for perspective. And just start selecting some, with control hold held down, just select one of the faces around where the bolt's going to be nested. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to actually have to select each of them separately. I'm going to go into the left viewport now. With those all selected, I'm going to just shift drag along the X axis and clone to its own object. I'll name it Bolt. Next, I'm going to go out of the, the polygon sub-object mode for the clock base. I'm going to select the Bolt, the editable poly Bolt. I'm going to, in the modifier list, I'm going to hit N and hit normal and make sure flip normals is checked. I'm going to then collapse all down back into an editable poly. From here, I'm going to go into the hierarchy panel, effect pivot only and center to the object. Next, I'm going to go back into the modify tab after unchecking effect pivot only and select the border. From here, I'm going to select the open border around the front of the, the bolt object, and I'm going to hit cap. Now I'm going to go out of the border sub-object mode, go back into the left viewport, hit F3 to go into wireframe mode, and just drag that back in. Now I'm going to go into the polygon sub-object mode, hit F3 to go back into the shade and edge faces. I'm going to select the front polygon, hit L to go into the left viewport. Hit F3 again to go back into wireframe, and I'm going to drag that out forward almost toward the edge. Hit F3 again to go back into the shaded edge face mode, and uncheck that and make sure that it's not in the polygon sub-object mode anymore, and I'm done modeling the bolt for the clock.